at the start turn left and you will find a ladder so climb up it and follow Oswald to the top when you reach the top you will trigger a cutscene you go that way I'll look in here So make sure you search Oswald's corpse before you leave, then go to the end of the hallway and jump down. Make sure you land on the scaffolding, watch out for the glass in this room. So walk over to the table and you can listen to the cassette tape. You still continue to pursue me, but you do not understand. In the crematorium another faces their test, but this subject does not wish escape. He wants to experience my games first hand. This is your worst fear, detective. Can you overcome your hatred to save a life? To your left, by here, will be a door which you can pick lock. Inside the room, there will be schematics for a stun trap, but you already have them, so you can't pick them up. There's a flashlight, scissors, and table lamp if, for you to take if you want them. In this corner on the table is a case file. By here is a shotgun tripwire, so be careful of that. There's a lock at the search over here. I'd like to point out that a shark and collar victim was spawned in this area, so make sure you're ready for when he does appear. You could lure him into the shotgun tripwire if you want to, it's up to you. So your first objective will be to find a way to shut off the steam. So head over here and turn off the lights to reveal glow-in-the-dark paint. Head to the toilet beneath the paint and you can search the toilet for a key. Once you've got the key, head through this door and use the key to unlock it. You can search the locker on the left, climb down the ladder. So this, for for me, this is where the shocking call of victim was spawned. If you still have the gun from the Oswald chapter, I suggest you just use that to kill him. Don't forget to search his corpse. Search these lockers by here, watch out for the tripwire. Further down the hallway by here will be a gear puzzle for you to complete. Of course you don't have to if you don't want to. So opposite the gear puzzle is that valve which will shut off the steam. So now you can climb up the ladder. There's a pole next to the valve if you want it. So now you've shut off the steam, you can climb up the ladder, so backtrack. Climb up this ladder. Make a U-turn over here. And then you can climb up the ladder. At the top of the ladder you will find a pole and a work table to create your own traps. To your right, walk across the balance beam. There's a mannequin arm in here and two filing cabinets. There's also another one of those crappy cameras if you want it. Head through this door and now you will need to find the combination to open the lock on this door. So head through the shotgun door. In here a death mask victim randomly respawns so keep on your toes for when he appears. So head over to this projector. Every time you move the slides you will reveal a number. So in my case the victim comes out a bit early and runs across that tripwire which was already on so make sure you're prepared to disarm that. So this on the slide the combination turns out to be 628 so enter that into the lock and you will open the door. So jump down this hole by here make sure you land on the scaffolding as always as you turn right these TVs will turn on. So after that, head over here, you can see a dead shotgun collar victim. Turn left and go to the end of this hallway. 
you will find two lockers which you can search and a case file. So after that, head back and turn left. On your right will be Molotovs on the shelf, but they're pretty bad, so I don't I don't recommend picking them up. So a victim down there randomly respawns at different times. In my case, he respawns right now. I find it best to use the fuse box against him. Don't forget to search this room. So go up to this circuit box and complete the mini game. Once you've completed the circuit box, you can hit this button, which will open the gate. So hit the button and then just follow the path around. Don't forget to search the victim's corpse when you pass it. So on the table in front of you by here there will be a note which you can read, along with a flashlight. If you turn right and go into the corner, you will find a case file. These two doors are locked, but you will be coming out of them later. If you go over here, you will see a cube victim. You will be fighting him later. So turn right and go for the shotgun door. Don't forget to search that car. Right, there's no point in doing this gear puzzle by here. Inside the box is explosive trap schematics, but you already have them. So don't bother doing it. Search the car in this room. Over here is a work table for you to create some traps if you want to. You can pick lock this door. To your right by here on the bed will be a case file. And next to the case file will be a cart which you can search. If you head down here you can unbar Oh yeah, don't forget to search that shopping cart either. By here you can unblock the door and leave through it and you will find yourself back out by here. So we head back round and you can use the fuse box to turn off the electric. So now we'll head up the stairs. Your next objective will be to find an X. Don't forget to search this desk. So if you hit this button, a 10 second timer will begin. When the timer expires, some bombs will detonate and kill the victim inside that room. So once the victim is dead, head over here and unbolt the door. Then you can search his corpse. If you want to, you can do the gear puzzle by here. It gives you a scalpel. So after you've searched that room, head for this door. A shock and call a victim randomly respawns in this area. So get ready for him. You could use that tripwire against him if you want to. Don't forget to search all the desks. In my case he respawns by here. Oh, I thought he did. Oh, there's a case file in this corner. Okay, I think he respawns, yeah, he respawns by here. So, since I, like I said before, I still have the gun from the Oswald chapter. Hopefully, you will too, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, walk across that balance beam and then you can smash down this wall. If you turn left, you will finally see the X which you've been searching for, so head down the ladder next to it. At the bottom of the ladder, you will find a pair of scissors and a corpse to search, along with a refrigerator. So take the frozen hand from the box and this door will open. I would just like to point out that the Q victim, sometimes he responds where he did just then. Or sometimes he responds in this hallway past this door so just make sure you w you watch out for him so after that turn left by here and go for this door 